Talking about love tonight. Amen. Jesus came our way. One day we got love in our heart. Let the love of God shine forth. The love of God heal. Until you get the healing and get the deliverance, you can now extend that love that we want. The love of God speak for itself. When you have the love of God, it shines. Show them that love. What a love! What a love! Jesus love you. I love you too. Smile. Just, just be.
Father, I have wandered far from thee. Often, I'm sorry, the words are not there. Often as my heart gone astray, crimson do my sins need to me. Water cannot wash them away. How far have we gone away from the Lord? And God wants to bring us close to him. Amen. Amen. Each service we attend is to draw us closer Amen. to him. Amen. 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 And we should leave out here better. Yeah. One blessing more. Amen. Amen. And tonight I'm glad to that we are here in our right mind. We're well. We want to give God the best of our service tonight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We don't have no program, nothing planned, but let God have his way. Amen. 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 Scripture or no scripture, don't worry about that. Just let God have his way. Amen. Amen. And we're sure if we just put everything together, God will give us a blessing. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet my absent mother. Minister, I greet you. I greet the household of fate. I'm not one for public standing, but I'm so grateful to God. <laughs> I have so much to give God thanks. God has been very good to me, more than I ever deserve. You know, um, I, I was coming here some years back. I found this church and when I found this church, Sister Myrna was living over my hand, and I had no way of coming to church. And it, it, I won't say it was by accident. I was visiting somewhere else, and we made a wrong turning. I wanted some milk, and we made a wrong turning and came down Mid Middleton Road. When I saw at the Pentecostal Apostolic, I shouted, stop. The person I was driving with nearly crashed because he thought something bad was happening, but I saw apostolic bent. Now I've been looking for years for a church over my end. And because I wasn't driving, um, I went from church to church. This one sounds like apostolic. When I get there, I go, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I was walking, looking for church, and God led me here. And God put Sister Myrna that brought me to church every service. I put my children to bed, and then I'll come with her to church in the night. And, you know, God bless her soul. I'm so grateful, you know, she was a sister when I needed a sister. And God provided her for me. And, um, I, I was coming, coming, and then I got a flip. I, I, God provided me with my own um, transportation that I could come, I could take my children. Now, I was having a lot of health issues. I didn't talk about it, but I was having a lot of health issues. And one night I was going home, and the car, my left side failed completely. And I was going headlong into this car in front of me. And all I could breathe was Jesus help. And I, the two children were sleeping in the back of the car. And God, I don't, up till this day, you know, when you, certain things happen, and you, you, you're just left amazed. Not only you know it's God, but it's just so me. I felt God in the car, my hands fell. My left hand fell, my right hand fell, my leg fell. I couldn't press anything. And God just moved the car from the left place into the middle lane. And my children could have died, and they would have woken up on the other side and didn't even know what happened. And, you know, since then, I've been having a lot of health issues. I ended up, sometimes I had to use a wheelchair, sometimes I couldn't walk. 
Um, a lot of things happened to me along the way. But I thank God that through it all, you know, sometimes you feel like you've been put to sit down. Yes. You know, and you can't, but it's good to be patient. Amen. You know, all I can encourage you, brethren, when you're going through your thing, we, all of us have to face it at some time. Something. You understand me? Whether it's family, whether it's husband, whether it's wife, whether it's children, whether it's job, you name it, something, whether it's health, you have to face it or something. Amen. Wait upon God. Amen. Be patient. You understand me? If sometimes we, we, we have to, you know, pray. I remember I kept on praying, going for prayer, going for prayer. And the scripture came to me, you know, remember Paul had an um, infirmity in his flesh. And the Lord said, my grace is sufficient, you understand me? And I remember I said, God, I'm not going to ask you again. I'm waiting on you. When you see fit, you are going to do the healing, you understand me? And sometimes you see somebody standing up in their clothes and you don't know what's going on under the clothes or in the body. A lot of things happen, you'd run if you know what's going on, you know? But Wait on God. Be of good courage. You understand me? Don't, don't be easy to give up. Don't, you know, and saints love each other. You know, this is one thing I want to impart to you. Because sometimes we're living in a very selfish, selfish age. A selfish society where every man is for themselves. It's just me and mine. I don't care, you know, you can be living next door to somebody. But for 20 years and you don't know each other. I don't understand it personally. What, what I'm saying to you, try to love each other. And if you don't know how to love, stop practicing. You understand me? Stop practicing. If my sister upset me, go and say, sis, you upset me yesterday, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sorry if I did anything to make you react that way. Treat each other with love, kindness. When somebody's missing, pick up the phone. I am my brother's keeper. Amen. You understand me? You don't say I am not being nosy. I'm minding my own business. It is your business. Amen. Your brother and sister is your business. God gave us to each other. Spend some time talking with each other. Find out how each other is doing. How about the day some people have gone through hell at work? Some people at the moment, there's a pandemic on. Some people are on the verge of losing their job. They carry it by themselves. You understand me? Sisters, you're feeling lonely. Some of you want to get married. You understand me? And people tell you, pray. You understand me? Pray. Oh God. Talk to each other, encourage each other. The married one, encourage the ones that are not, not married. And help them along the way. Tell them what happened to you. Encourage them, tell them your story. After many years, you sat there, you waited on God until God provided. Don't let them wash out of the church because of lack of encouragement, lack of care. Care for each other. Teach each, other, teach each other love. You understand me? And you have to start practice. Love conquers. Love brings souls. People come through the door and you show them that love. You understand me? They didn't even come. They come because of the love. They, they feel a part of a family. They feel that somebody actually cares for them. You're, you know, I'm asking you to pray for me. Um, um, I have my thing that I'm asking God to help me with. You understand me? And while I, I pray for you, I'm asking you to pray for me. You know, I know that God is able. And I serve a great, big, wonderful God. You know, and I've proven it. He's taken me to Brethren, I can't even go there with my story. But God has taken me out of some ditch and some situations. You understand? From various countries. God has delivered me, and he's still making a way, he's still providing, he's still protecting, he's still shielding, he's still sheltering me, and he's still comforting me. 
Do you understand me? So you pray by strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord for the wonderful encouragement. Amen. We've been, we've been blessed tonight. We've been blessed. Amen. The song says, Mighty Long Way, Lord. Mighty Long Way. pleasure to be in the house of God tonight. Amen. I love the Lord. Amen. I will lift up mine eyes, the Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel 
which are neither slumber nor sleep. Amen. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is keeper and your keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. Amen. Hallelujah. The psalm is saying, I, so the person is personal. It's a pronoun and it's me personal. So it's personal to you and it's personal to me. And we have to have a mindset to think like that. We have to have a mindset. of not selfish mindset, but it's to be have your mind stayed upon the Lord. He said, they, obviously, David must have reached a place in his life where he, he came to that conclusion. I, David, will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. He wasn't literally talking about that hill. Uh, if, if you know of a hill, I was born in, in the country, so I know hills, climbing the hills. Um, but it's a place where he came to, a time of, of his life whereby he was there and wondering what to do. Then he realized, I will lift up, amidst what's happening around me, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. You know, sometimes we face situations and we don't know where help is coming from. But we have to find a place in God. Sometimes we have to find our bedside, we have to find a corner to hide away from everyone, to seek after God, to, to hear from him. Because we might look around for help and there is no help. Sometimes even people try to encourage you, but somehow your soul is still unrest, is still not at peace until you find a place in God. So I want to encourage you tonight. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Then David asked, Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. By God, saints, I've been always thinking about the God I serve. I love, I love the Lord. I can't express it enough. But I want to encourage you, just as David, when he reached that place, to lift up your heads. Doesn't matter what is going on. Because, you know, saints of God, when I look at life, what matters? What matters, saints of God? I, I looked at um, the tornado in America just early January and how that uh, tor um, tornado came with such force. Nothing could, stop, no, nothing could stop it. Which bad man could stop the tornado? Who could stop it? And I said, my God, when that tornado came and lit up everything off the ground, nothing was left. Cars, everything was taken. And my God, God was showing to me, look, what matters is having a relationship with God. Just like David, when he realized only God he could lift up his eyes onto. Because everything around him, as the songwriter said, when all around my soul gives way, is all my hope and stay on Christ. The solid rock I stand, all other ground in sinking sand. Saints of God, you cannot look to your money, to your bank account. You cannot look, everybody around you will fail. Everything around you will fail. But you can look to God. God will not fail you. Doesn't matter what you're going through. God will not fail you. Doesn't matter who we are, what status we might have. When trouble comes, it doesn't matter what status you are anyway. Trouble comes to everyone, and nobody can push away when trouble comes. But when you know that you have a God that you can trust in, saints of God, hold on to God just like David um, did. He didn't have to look to anyone else, but he looked to God. And I'm encouraging you tonight, look to God. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Look unto the hills from whence cometh your help, your help coming from the Lord God Almighty, not from your wife, not from your husband, not from the bishop, not from the pastor, but to God, because God is coming back for a prepared church, saints of God. So continue to hold on, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up your everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. God bless you in Jesus' name. in no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ. God is a good God and he always will be God. You know as Minister Miller said, give a testimony how God has saved my life. There's so many things to say but I'm just going to say one. I remember in 2007 2007 I had a toroid and it was so huge that it was blocking my windpipe and it's a family trace because all my family have had it. My dad died of it, 
but I make up in my mind that I'm not going to die. Amen. So I give God thanks that in 2000, uh, in 1995 it came up first, and they took me to Homerton Hospital because it was so bad, because it was sucking me down. And they did the operation, the operation took nine hours. I stopped breathing under so, and the tater so many times. But because when God has a purpose for Amen. your life, he knows what he's doing. Yes. But I give God thanks, I pass over that. And then 2007, it come back again on the other side. But this time it came rapid. And it covered the whole entire neck. Brethren, who are, know about it here in church, see how I was. My neck, I could hardly, I could, even now still, although the opportunity, I can't turn certain ways. But I give God thanks mm -hmm. for his servant. I remember Sister Evangelist Cameron came to my house and we had a prayer meeting. I did some prayer. And God led her to touch my neck. I will never forget that. And when she touched my neck, I feel like someone used a knife and cut me across my neck. And I said, God, what is this? I didn't say nothing to her. But you know what? God did already done the job. Yes. But it just need just to come out. And brethren, about a month after, I, the hospital called me emergency immediately. I said, boy, what shall I do? My children was so sometimes you need the children, they're not there. My son them gone to pinballing and me one alone in the house. I said, I one alone can't call. So I pick up the phone and I call my pastor. And mom, bless me, God bless her. Brother Howard and Brother Homer came. And they take me to the hospital. Why they take me to the hospital? Because the doctor already told me it's 50-50 chance. I said, I believe in God. But well, thank God, the surgeon that came, he was someone who believed in God. Amen. And he said, this job is a big job. But believe that there's a man up there. He can deliver you. Praise God. And I, I, I pick up courage. In the morning now, he said to me, you first got to go to theater. I said, me first? Anyway, it happened that I first didn't go. Um, if I was with me, may God bless all the time. And she said, Pam, I'm going home and come back. But while they say they're going home and come back, I don't want nobody to leave me. You understand what I'm saying? No matter what, there's a fear in you. And um, I'm there, and I'm sitting, and I see my children. They're walking up and down, and they're confused. And like they're saying, is mommy going to come back? Is mommy, uh, is it the last we've seen mommy? Do you want to have you Rika, Rika, have a job? But they're not coming in. Yeah, they, but I can see. And God rest my, my pastor, phoned me. And she said to me, Sister Pam, I'm going to pray. <laughs> and three people gone down, so me was the last person, and I was supposed to be four. So God, I needed prayer. And mom prayed. And believe me, when she prayed, there was a calmness <laughs> came down on me. I wasn't thinking about that. All I was thinking about is my children. But I thank God Evangelist went and she came, but she said she was an urge to have to come back to the hospital. And when she came, just in time, it's time for me to go down. They said, I'm not taking you on nobody now. You know what that means? You're not coming back. But I know I serve a big, wonderful God. And she walked with me, go straight to the theater. Till they surprised, they said, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be down here. But God wanted her to hold my hand. Yeah, and she came right to the one and looked brethren. That was the last time I see something I see. I never see so much doctor in my life. I saw so many doctors and nursing and it's pay a whisper whispering. But I still, I said, in my heart, I'm saying, God, this is it. You're going to do it for me and you're going to prove to them that you are God. Amen. 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 And I take a look at Evangelist and I hold on my head and they took me first, nothing. The second took nothing. The third took, I don't know nothing. I just go. But Amen. still, although I went, God was still with me. Amen. And they were saying that when they cut it, I'm not going to speak. I would got to wear a in my 
Sure. And speak to God. And brethren, I know God done it already. So when they take the knife and do like this, the something just fly out. They didn't have to cut no very. They didn't have to cut no it just fly. Because God already done it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Him. Praise God. Praise God. Virgin, them say I'm going to be hospital for a long time. Virgin, I spent seven days in hospital. They said I wasn't going to talk yet. <coughs> um, I remember faintly, you know, when you're coming out of coming in from the conscious, I heard the doctor say, how many veins did you cut? The doctor said, we did not cut no vein. This is a miracle. Something has happened to this woman. It just cut and it just fly out. I didn't want to get the of intense scare, everything set up. I didn't go there. I went to recovery. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, you know, brethren, when you are strong and healthy, give God thanks. Amen. Give him all the praise that he drew, that he drew unto him. Yes. Because I thought that I was finished. But God said, no, I don't ready for your number no trumpet. And I'm laying down conscious and I realize I hear faint talking and I hope in my eyes and I see I said, Jen and she said, she can't talk <laughs> thanks be to God she said she can't talk she said, Junior, your mother wake up your yeah, eyes left my children they were so happy but you know, I was, I was happy because I give I never read it night time don't come yet but I am giving God thanks. And they said I must spend how much weeks at home since I want to, because I want to go home. Once I got the first thing I do is try to talk. And I call her name first. And I realize I can talk. I say, God, thank you. I look on another one in front of me, and she had the same, but she had the, the track of him. And she could not talk. I said, God, this is what I was going to. I said, I don't know if I could have coped with it. But God sent a gentleman here. I don't know if you remember. Yes, yes. To oh, yes. show me yes. what yes. could have happened to me. Yes. But God said no. When I see him take it out, I know God. I said, God. Yes. God loves us enough. Yes, he, does. he loves us. Yes. You know, and I said, I can't, after two months, I said, I can't stay home. I need to come to church. I'm ready to come and I sit down. And when I feel the spirit of God, I feel grab the throat. And I feel the spirit, brethren, me have to grab my throat. Because remember, the neck cut from here to here. And I have to hold my neck. And I say, God, you not mean nothing to me. You know, but I give God thanks for the brethren. Who oh, pray, brother Omar, 11 o'clock in the night. Brother Omar come. And he come and peep and look the curtain and he... Bring something for me and it gone again. Evangelist was there. You know, a lot of virgins, some never know. But I know virgin were praying. Yes. But it take, it take God. Amen. It take God. Yes. You know, virgin, I can't tell it well, whether that won't stop here. But I give God thanks that he have given me the chance that I could tell somebody, no matter what you're going, no matter how the sickness is, Amen. you know, God can do it for you. Because it's not only one sickness, it was more than one. It was very complicated. But God, have a purpose for my life. You pray my strength in Jesus. Give her praise to one of the Let us praise Jesus. Let us praise Jesus. Consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder.
tell the name of Jesus. Salvation in the name of demons tremble in the name of singers heal in the name of Jesus. Praise his name. Yes. Our great love. Amen. Amen. How great. Spirit, my Lord and my Savior, Mother Douglas, on all the minister, all the saints, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I just want to give God thanks. I want to give him praise. <laughs> praise God. Some say I was a wanderer out in the wilderness, far away, far away. And when I hear that young the sister give her a, te a, a testimony, an encouragement, uh, it just bring me back, way back. Not way, way back, but way back for me, seven years, nearly eight years. Praise God when the Lord lead me to house of prayer. Praise God, and I was so broken. I was bruised, I was wounded. I was cast out. And <laughs> even carrying hatred even for my parents so many years. Even in 2014, even my cousin here is the one who gave my mom my number to get the number from my mom to give it back to me. And I called her, so much pain, so much hurt, even going to, just so much pain, you know? And I wanna just give God the glory and give him the praise that the day I walk into that church, when I walk on the street, everybody see a piece of me because I was all that and more. This body where God give me, it's all about what I can get and I take it from what you are. I don't care about nothing, you know? When I see you, I don't see your face. I see your pocket. What I can get from you, it's all about that or nothing. And growing up, praise God, Bruised, my mother abandoned me from like 11 months. My father stopped lying me from eight. No love, nothing. Pregnant from 14. Praise God, a mother at 14, a baby having baby. Praise God, couldn't even do anything, you know. <laughs> but I want to give God thanks for his goodness. I want to give God thanks for his mercy. Praise God, I want to give God thanks. Because he is a God, he's a covenant-keeping God. Yes. And when he have a hands upon you, yes. there's nothing can be done about it. No man can do nothing about it. And I want to just give God the praise and the glory that, that love that you speak about. I don't know love. I never know it. I don't know what it feel like. I don't know how to even embrace anybody. I never give nobody my heart because I ain't got none to give. And... 
Sometimes we want to something from somebody that they don't even know it. And you don't even realize you're pouring into them and expecting something, but they don't even know it. They don't have it, so they can't give you it. You know, and when I go to the house of prayer, that love that you talk about, it brings me there. Because I never trust nobody. And when I ask somebody, I look in, they're looking for something. So when I get the log in the church and they say, oh, this, how do people I want? Every minute they tell you, I love you. I said, the people are lazy, man. <laughs> they don't even know me. What do they tell you about they love me? And, and they're there. And you have this, um, evangelist riches. God give me her as my mother. And she always just there. And, and I said, no, man, it's too much for me. I overwhelmed by it. And even when I said, no, me not go back at the church today. People are my liar. They said they love me, everybody has shown me this kind of love, and I never know how to deal with it. Even said, so I'm not going back to that church. When I look the pastor, I turn up my door and say, me, me not, me not trick me. Me not, me not coming back. You know, I said, I'm not coming. I never answer my door. But I never know that love. And when I come to know who Jesus is, yes. when I come to know who Jesus is, and when they talk about the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. that's the kind of love you were talking about. Yeah. Because the love of God shine forward, yeah. praise God. Yeah. The love of God heal, praise yeah. God. Yeah. When you touch somebody, your presence alone yeah. change yeah. lives, yeah. praise yeah. God. Yeah. The love of God speaks for itself. Yeah. You don't have to say, I am this or I am that. Yeah. But when you have the love of God, yeah. it shines. Yeah. It blooms. It changed life. Yes. Praise God. And when I was a piece of meat, she made me feel like royalty. Mm. When I was that woman of the well, even don't think of Holy Ghost coming near me. I never even think that God, good, good spirit could come inside of me. I never think that God, I said, God, I said, God, you call me. If you call me, give me a word. I'm the one who knows. And when God, God, when we go to my church on 12 of October 2014, less than three months after baptism, God showed me, say, I call you. Mm -hmm. I could feel the love of God. Amen. I don't know what that is like. Amen. I could feel the love of God. Praise and that's what the people of God have to do. Amen. It doesn't matter if they come in royal garment yes. or they come in a piece of earth. Yes. And when they stink and smell it, God will hide that smell. That yes. will smell. But when they see that love, yes. they come to know the God that you are talking about. Yes. They come to know the God that you are serve. Yes. When you can embrace them, sometimes they just want a hug. Jesus, Meet some broken people that just want a touch, yes. just want somebody to tell them I love you. Yes. You're worth it. You're here for a purpose. Yes. You're here for a reason. Yes. God never made no mistake. Yes. You're not forsaken. You're not forgotten. Amen. That kind of love. Amen. And I want to give God thanks yes. that the house of the living God yes. will that love will be an example, yes. and I will be a one as well. Each and every one of us. Yes will be that light to show the character Amen. of God in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. We're talking about love tonight. Amen.
testify in Jesus' name. Let us praise Jesus. Praise God. If someone said you can count on me, I am working for my Savior. Faithful I will be. I will fight with all my might. You can count on me. You can tell the world about this.
and God has spared our lives yes. to see such a day like this. A day that we will never see yes. again. Yes. You know, God, today, God, all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus.
Okay. That's not what I wanted. But when I picked up the phone, God rest the dead, Uncle Daly answered the phone. And I began to question, what kind of church is this? Remember, you know, I'm a sinner. Good night, club, and what we have to do. What he's asking. I remember I said, is it a Holy Ghost church? Don't ask why. I know I can't fathom why I said it. I said, does the sisters dress modestly? Me asking as a sinner. I'm about to ask him something, and then he said, why don't you come next week and see for yourself? Now, my friend, the next week he's talking about is the week I'm supposed to come in.
perfect so I can be alive and in his house one more time. It's not because of anything that I've done, good that I've done. Many people have died this year and just over the course of this pandemic, um, and I'm not better than anyone, so I'm giving God thanks I'm, I'm alive. Um, I want to give this testimony. I've given it before, but I'm giving God thanks because I've been looking back in, looking back over my life, and really lately I've been seeking God and asking God to really reveal Himself to me, and Amen. that I will have a personal relationship with Him Amen. myself that I may know God, that when he speaks to me, I will know that it's him speaking to me and I'll do the things that he tells me to do. And I just want to give God thanks. I remember when I was a sinner, when I was much younger, um, I used to go raving with my friends. Um, and one night we went out um, and we went to this party in Stratford and um, we was dancing, drinking, you know, just enjoying ourselves, having a good time, or at least what we thought at the time was enjoying ourselves. Um, and we was dancing and carrying on and carrying on. And I remember my mum had bought a necklace for my um, birthday. Um, and while I was dancing on my head top, carrying on, carrying on, <laughs> behaving so bad, I didn't even know that the necklace had fallen off my, my neck. So when I realised that the necklace had fallen off my neck, I started to fret because I said, you know, it's an expensive gold chain. My mum's going to kill me. I started to plan what I'm going to tell her and what, you know, just because I can't go home and tell mum I was there behaving careless and just lost the chain from my neck. But to cut a long story short, I'm just giving God thanks because years later I thought about it and I said, God, I thank you that it was just a necklace because I could have gone to the party and just like how I lost the necklace, I could have lost my life. I went into many parties and we had to run out because they were shooting, gas was being let off, this and that. And with all that was going on, it was still fun to me because I never saw the danger of I could have lost my life. And so many times I'm watching the news or I hear stories and somebody was casually walking minding their own business and this happened and that and I said God look how many things I was doing and carrying on and not once you allowed anything to happen to me so I'm just giving God thanks and please pray for me because I mean God and I want to serve God and I want to have the reality of God in me I don't want to just say oh God oh God I want to know God and have a relationship with God so please pray for me in Jesus name I give a word to you. You want to feel reality? When you go home, talk to him like you talk to me. Jesus, I love you. Yes. You got to bring your presence. Yes. Don't say, oh Lord, Lord. Talk to him like he's in the room with you. Get to And he will talk back. I'm telling you. He will talk back to you. Don't go on a dream and look a dream. Talk to him like you talk to a person. Jesus! I know you're here, Lord. Yes. I'm going to lift up your name and worship you in the house. Reveal it to me. Amen. Put it in the tip and dance and worship. Praise him. You need to free up yourself. Yes. Where's your hand up? You're too tight.
feel tight. Bound up, we feel restricted. But to just walk through three times, walk through. I keep walking. Walk tonight and you keep walking. You don't hear me, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. I don't take, take exercise. I'm saying, free up your spirit. And you're going to find those legs light. Those legs are so light. And when you come into the house, you're going to find a lightness in your body. Come on, Richard. You just free up yourself. Praise Lord Jesus. Praise Lord Jesus. Greetings to my mother and pastor, saints in Jesus' name. I'm just coming from work, so I'm a bit tired. <laughs> That's why I didn't want it to come up here, but I'm giving God thanks. Give God thanks. Yes. Everything, give God thanks. Yes. I'm giving God thanks for bringing me his house one more time. I'm giving God thanks that I'm alive and well and standing on top of my grave. I'm giving God thanks for life. Yes. Truly, God is so wonderful. Yes. The, the lady was speaking um, about how she, what she's been through. And I was saying, God, you're so good. Because yes. that was what was going in fasting. We need healing in our hearts, in our minds. We've been hurt so many times and we just need to heal. When we heal, then we can extend that love that God has healed us or that hurt that God has healed us from. We can now extend love to our brethren, love to one another, love. Sometimes we keep on blaming each other, but it's because we've been hurting. It's because we've been broken, but we need to heal. When we heal now, we see the love flow. You don't know what's broken. You don't know what is, what is happening inside. It's only if you knew what was happening inside of me, how deep it went. You don't know my story, so you can't sing my song. But until you get the healing and get the deliverance, you can now extend that love that we want in Jesus' name. You know, it's so good. I've been, I've been talking to Jesus. I love to talk to Jesus. I've been talking in the car and always saying, God, you're so good to me. So many stuff I've been going through. And it's like everything I'm talking about at home, it's like it's manifesting in fasting, or somewhere else and I'm saying to myself God you're so good everything I talk about it's like you're telling me look at it it's not only you that need it somebody else needs it so it's it's not good to keep everything in at, all the time sometimes you have to let go to let God bless somebody else or to make somebody else understand is that that is not them alone that is going through what you thought you were going through alone you understand and I was looking to her, I said, God, you're so good. Yes. And when I was, I, I was praying to God and I was saying, God, I give you thanks for life. Thanks for grace. Because I want to seek you. I want to, to know you for myself. It's one thing to read the Bible, but you have to know and prove God for yourself. You have to understand what he wants you to do. You have to understand where he wants you to go. Sometimes you ask questions, but we're so hasty that sometimes we don't wait on the answer from God. We go forth before the answer even comes. And I'm just saying to God, just help me to wait upon you, to trust in you, to believe in you. Because sometimes we have so much belief in men and so much belief in what men can offer us, but we don't believe or have that same faith in Almighty God. We keep on depending upon the man, and when the man drop us, it's like, God, what do we do? But instead of you believe in the creator, instead of God's creation, you would have gotten through life much easier than we, what, what, than what we've been going through. I was looking into it and I said, God, you know if I went your way, I would have been further ahead than what I am now. But because we take corners or we come off the road, we're not going as to what God has planned for us. Because the Bible says, seek him first. But sometimes we forget that we need to seek him first. Sometimes we forget that. Sometimes the struggles and all the temptation come. And we forget that we have to seek God first. And because we don't seek God first, that's why we feel like the road is rough. Or the ship is rocking. And that's the reason why we go off course. Instead of forward still. It's Jehovah's will. So the pillows dash and spread.
You saying my God can do anything? Yes. What can God do? Like a day trip, so I'm asking them a question. So, what are you doing? 
people are not planning to do to join them. Mm -hmm. And they say, yes, you can join us, and we'll take you like from here to fly somewhere there. And you'll be there for six months, the trainer to be this and be that and that. And I said, okay. Then I said, but if you change your mind and you want to come back, I said, you are free. Um, I did got thanks, and there's a lady that used to come and visit them. She used to go to Church of God. And she said to me, I know the church, but don't tell them, I told you. And you just live around there. And another lady was there. They said, I said, church around this side. Just, but don't let them know that it's me telling you. And I start coming to the church, I hide and everything and come to the church. And I used to come to the church. But there was, anytime I come to the church, I said, I don't understand what these people are talking about. I don't understand, I don't understand. But there is one person that always speaks that I understand, it's our pastor. Amen. Anytime she speaks, she speaks different. Then I understand that. Then I remember my wedding. I said, I said, I'm going to get baptized. I said, I'm going to get baptized. And I told you, the lady that you are in Sema, then I tell you, the lady that sent me here. I said, but don't say nothing, so I will get everything for you. I will go and buy the towel, I will buy the Bible, everything. And I still got that Bible, that is over 20, 80 years ago. I still got that same Bible. And the lady came with me, and I get baptized in this church. But what I'm saying, I remember years, years, when I just, I think one year, between that time, I don't know nothing about Holy Ghost and King. But I remember I was sleeping and I got a dream that everybody wanted, everybody wanted, everybody wanted. I said, then I look up, all I can see fire. And I look up, well then I don't understand the dream, but everybody wanted going through this gate. Then I remember I went to reach through the gate now. Then somebody said, where's your baby? I said, it's in my back. So I carry the baby in my back and I go through the gate. Then I said to them, look up, look up, look up. Then they said, look up, look up. But I will see you. And I wake up in my sleep. I sweat. I said, that time I was with these people. And I don't know who to share the testimony, who to share the feeling. I kept it to myself. I kept it to myself. But what I'm saying right there, I remember, I said to my pastor, and I said, yeah, it's over. So it's blessing. Yes. And I remember um, let um, Mother Yuga die. And we were going to the funeral. And my pastor looked at me, mom looked at me. He said, You said, you know, you said, you face different. I said, No, I'm not saying to myself, I'm real sad. I said, No, I'm not saying that. It's just under my eyes. Why? Because I'm not feeling the only one. So I'm not saying. So I'm not saying. And Sister Kaya, I'm giving the scripture of this, uh, this evening. That was my scripture day and night. I read that scripture day and night, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks, and one of them. And I'm looking to it. And I said, God, and Pastor, our mother here, we used to um, have prayer meeting in our house. Every Monday, I think, every Monday, we used to have prayer meeting. But one month, not only much with the Bible, like I carry Bola, Ayan, and Awan. I get a little bit of that side. But, you know, the first thing I'm there, I'm on that side. Yes. But the Bible, one month, not only much, like I carry Bola, Bola, Awan, and Ayan, and Awan. And I remember, let me tell you that part again. I remember again, everybody getting in the street, jumping and I said, God, what happened to you then? What happened to you then? Then they are singing this song. I cannot hold it no longer. You know, and I was back in the second city. Brethren, I don't think you used to the second pass. I got some lick. The world can knock out in this church. I won't, I won't.
So brethren, I guess I will wash this thing. I will be from God from God. I was from God to God. Yes. And I didn't go to the Lord. Amen. And I remember when she said, God, God, if you can Don't give up. 
people. Amen. Don't give me. It's not that to be easy. It's not that to be smooth all the time. If you fall, but get up. Amen. Don't stay in the same place. Amen. Because all of us, even as I, as we see with I, am agile. All bent down. Yes. We all get me. But we don't stay there. So keep. Trust in God. Believe in God. If anybody corrects you, don't take it wrong. They don't mean harm. It's for your own good. So keep in faith. The young one that does come, don't, don't buy too much. Sometimes you blind your eyes and you don't see. Just keep your eyes focused. And one day, one day, God will show you the truth. Never give in, never fail, never. You know, there's a lot of things, a lot of things for us to fall, to make us fall. But it's if you look to God, yes. I'm changing and you never, never let you go astray. That's why I say, one day at a time, with Jesus. That's all I'm asking for you. You know, so look at them, man. I love you all. talking to God a couple of weeks ago and um, I was asking God what is love what is love what is really real love and God gave me a song and I'd like to sing it God is greater far than tongue of pain
God. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says, Greater love had no man than this, that a man should lay down his life for his friends. We give God thanks tonight for this love. This love. Praise God. We did not have love. We didn't know about love. But because Jesus came our way, Amen. praise God one day, praise God, we have love in our heart. Amen. And we thank God for that love. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God is great Amen. and greatly to be praised. Amen. I was sitting down there, praise God, with my pastor. Praise God, everyone, in Jesus' name. I was sitting down there. Praise God, and I was looking back and I said, thank you, Lord. That Sunday night, when you wrote my name. He said, he wrote my name. Way up. Way up in glory land. Jesus saved my soul from all sin and shame. Praise God. And I never forgot that day. When he came, when he wrote my name, oh hallelujah, praise God, it was a Sunday night for me, I don't know when for you, when he wrote my name, and the song was in my heart, giving God thanks for, tonight, you want your name to be wrote. You want your name to be up there. Yes. And if you need Jesus tonight, yes. the altar is open. Yes. Come tonight that your name be written there. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. We serve a mighty God. Yes. We serve a good God. Yes. No one could take our sins away. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. No one could take our yes. sins away. Yes. It takes Jesus
I hear somebody say something. Evangelist. Me never look for God. No Me hear well do up. Looking nice at work. When me, uh, one evening, me was coming out, you know. And the manager come and the manager so pull up me here. He said, okay. You on for a show? You on for a ride, man? All right, so we're going to ride. That is was the weekend. Sunday, I lie in my bed. One Sunday evening, I lie in my bed. My teeth was hurting. My teeth hurt me, my teeth hurt me. And I caught my ears. And I hear somebody call me. I get up. I open the door. There was no one there. I said, then I who could Anna call me? Then I said to me, I oh, wonder for the lady. We always invite me to church. Because whenever time I see her, me hide. <laughs> when I see her on the bus, me hide. Me no want to go to church. Amen. Thank God for the Lord. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. And I'm telling you, know, me get up, you know. I mean, I see nobody out there. You know. Me put on my clothes, man. I put on my clothes, come in and see nobody. I hear the voice loud. I went to church. I went to church. I didn't go to see her, but just to show her. Say, see me here. Yes. Know that God was waiting on me. Yes. Praise God. Yes. You have a plan. Yes. Praise God, but God have a bigger one for you. Yes. I thank God. Yes. I thank God. Yes. And tonight, when I sit down here, and all was going on is all what came back to me. He wrote my name. Praise God. It's a good thing when the Lord wrote your name. It's the best thing that ever happened to all of us. You know how you were. You know how bad you were. I know bad man, can you feel to say nobody, nobody like you? Amen. You're not thinking so they can kill you. Amen. But the bad man, Jesus, when he get ready, <laughs> you have to move. You can't say no. When he ready, it means I'm ready. So you're here tonight. Come to Jesus. Let him write your name up there. Come to Jesus tonight. Jesus. The altar is open. Amen. Come and taste and see Amen. that the Lord is good. Amen. Have you been to Jesus yes. for the cleansing blood? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in
Almighty, you are just. God Almighty, you are pure. You are holy, O oh God. You are high and lifted up. Oh God, your glory fill the temple. God, your train fill the temple. And the angels cried, Holy. Holy to you, Almighty God. Father God, we praise your name and adore you. Because you are God and God all by yourself. We thank you, God, for another day like today. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the fellowship, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the gathering, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you we could gather one more time, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That we could talk about you. Thank to you, talk Lord. about your goodness. To talk about your kindness. Thank you, Jesus. To talk about your love. To talk about your compassion. Praise God. My God, we thank you for everything you're doing for us, thank oh God. You, Jesus. Mighty God, we thank you, God, for saving our soul thank from you, sin. Lord. God, we know that your soul, our soul was heading down to the hills, Broadway. Yes, God. But God, in the nick of time, oh God, you snatched us as a branch from the burning. Thank you, Jesus. God, you made us a firebrand. God, thank you for your thank love. You, Lord. My God, I thank you, God, you help us, God, that we could change thank our garments that are stained by sin and that we are able to wash in the thank blood you, of the Lamb. Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you went thank all you, the way to Calvary. God Almighty, you had the world in, in my God in your mind at the time, oh God. Yes, Lord. That God you died for the sins of the world. Name of God Almighty, although they put the two thieves on the cross next to you. Thank you Lord. God Almighty, they were guilty for their wrongdoing. Thank you, Jesus. But God, in their mercy, one cried out thank and said, Lord. Oh Lord, remember me. My God, we thank you for tonight, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that someone in this place tonight, oh God, Name that their hearts Jesus. will turn to you. Glory! Yes, my God, you are the God who are able to change Name and lift us spots. And God, melt the heart of stone. Yes, I pray, God, that you touch such heart tonight, oh God. Somebody who needs salvation, oh God. Yes. Somebody who needs deliverance, oh God. And they come in, my God, they won't go back the same as they come, oh God. I pray that your divine power will reach the heart. I pray that your word will reach the heart, oh God. We thank you for everyone, oh God. We pray, God, thank you for your servant, Pastor Douglas, God. We thank you for the child of God, your child, oh God. We thank you for your hand in my God. We thank you, God, that you call us to the kingdom for such a time as this, oh God. Now we thank you, God, you made a weapon against the enemy. We thank you, God, you bless her, my God. We thank you, God, you strengthen her, God. I pray you can overshadow your servant. I pray you continue to guide your servant, oh God. My God, lift her, my God, give her courage. God, give her endurance. God, touch her from the crown of her head, oh God. God, to the sole of her feet, oh God. I pray that your Shekinah glory will overshadow her. I pray, oh God, your warrior angels will be around about her. God, you said as the mountains around about Jerusalem. God, you're around about your people from henceforth and forever. And I pray, oh God, you'll overshadow your servant, oh God. God, go with us right, oh God. I pray the presence will be with us. God, I pray that your warrior angels, oh God, with a flaming sword, you dispatch them to our houses right now, God. I pray that they'll cut and clear. My God, on the highways and the hedges, God. I pray every bedroom, God. Every bathroom, God. Every living room, God. Every kitchen, God. For the demons are lurking, watching and waiting. God, I pray, Holy Ghost and God, cut and clear, oh God. Rebuke and discharge. Now the powers of hell that come against us, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, for your words. We thank you, God, for the confidence in you. We thank you, God, for the hope in you. But God, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, you are round about us forever. God, we thank you for the hiding place in you. We thank you, God, for the city place in you. God, it was Moses who said, He that dwelleth in the secret place. The most high. Yeah, Shall I honor the shadow of the mighty? I will say, the Lord is my refuge. Surely, O oh God, your promise. He said, No evil shall come nigh of our dwelling. No witchcraft, God. No powers of man. No evil forces, God. Come to our door. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O Holy Ghost. Be the dog, be the dog, be the dog, 
Give all glory to the Lord. For your strong, your mighty, you never lost the battle. You said, all of your eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the way to your God. God will look at you as the eyes of the servant of God. Look at the hand of the master. We are looking to you, God. Cover us, O God. Be our shield. Be our rock, O God. Be our hiding place. God, I kill you, God. Put your root on this job. Because you are God. You are God, O God. Call us. Call us. Yes. Yes. Call us, God. Take us safely. Be the fire by night. Be the cold by day. Lead us all and turn it through. Strong deliverer. Be the sin. A strength and shield. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be the sin. Our strength. Your shield, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.